Okay, hi again. So this time we've got a question where you're asked to use index numbers in the multiple choice exam question. Here's a chance for you to test your understanding of index numbers and in particular how to do some, some calculations based on some hopefully relatively straightforward data. If you're ready, let's take a look at the question. So the table below indicates the average price of furniture as a price index, not measured in pounds or dollars or euros, but expressed as a, as a price index. Uh, 2011, the index is 100. We can assume, of course, that that's the base year for the index. A base year price index nearly always is 100. And you get some data for four following years through to 2015. Uh, the question is, which one of the following can you deduce from the data above on average price of furniture expressed as an index? This is the moment to press the pause button if you want to have a go at the question. Press play when you're ready. I'll come back with the answer and my explanation. Uh, if not, stay with me. So the data shows an index for furniture prices. What can we deduce from the data? What did you get for this? A, B, C or D? My answer is B. Compared with 2015, the price of furniture was 20% cheaper in 2011. Okay, let's go through the answer. Hopefully you, you're still with me on the correct one. Let's work out some, some numbers. When you get price data in, in indices format, it's a good idea to calculate where needed a percentage change. Certainly one of the options uh, is important there. And if you do the yearly percentage change, of course it's the change divided by the original multiplied by 100. The change over the year divided by the original multiplied by 100. We find, for example, that furniture increased in price by 5% in 2012. The index went up by 15 in 2013, but of course as the original was 105, it's a 14.3% increase. The index then fell by 10 in 2014, well it's 10 over 120 multiplied by 100, that's a minus 8.3% change, a fall in the average price. And then in 2015, the index went up by 15, but it's 15 over 110, which gives a 13.6% annual increase. Okay, so those are the yearly changes. Now, because uh, the price of furniture fell in 2014, A is wrong. The price of furniture rose throughout the, the whole period. No, it fell in 2014. So we can eliminate uh, A. I think the answer is B. So let's just think about the other options. Revenue from the sale of furniture fell in 2014. Well, revenue, of course, is the, the multiplication of price times quantity. And we're not given any information on the quantities of furniture sold. Therefore, we cannot deduce anything about the revenue from the sale of furniture in 2014. We know the price index fell by 8.3%, but we don't know what happened to the amount of furniture sold. It could have been that the demand for furniture was price elastic in which case a fall in the price of furniture would actually cause revenue to go up. D, between 2013 and 2014, the price of furniture fell by 10%. Well, we've done the calculation and uh, it fell by 8.3%, so it's, uh, that's not the right answer. The index fell by 10, but of course it's the change, 10 divided by the original 120. By a process of elimination, the right answer is B. A, C and D must be wrong, but just to make sure, the price index in 2015, which is our starting point, we're told compared with 2015, so the price index in 2015 was 125, the price index in 2011 was 100, so therefore the change over that four year period going back is 25 basis points on the index, or 25, divide by the original, 125, times by 100 gives a 20% change. So indeed, furniture in 2015 was 20% cheaper than in 2011 if you look back from 2015 through to 2011. So the correct answer to this question is B. Now, index numbers are not easy. Uh, this one was about furniture, so hopefully so far so good. Uh, but if you got it wrong, well, there's plenty of revision notes on the Tutor 2 website which might help to cushion the blow of getting that one wrong so you can try another one pretty soon. Sorry for the puns, folks, but uh, see you again soon with another question.